Hey YouTube and welcome back to tutorial number 18 and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use classes to style different elements on your website. So if you take a look at the code real quick from the previous tutorial you'll see that we've got two headers on our website and these two headers actually look exactly the same when you open it up in Firefox but you know what if we wanted these two headers to be different perhaps we wanted this header to be blue and we wanted this header to be red then you already know that when we just use the normal h2 selector in CSS we land up having two headers that look exactly the same or every single header on our web page that's a header 2 is going to look exactly the same so this is what we would use a class for we'd be able to change how elements look even if they're the same element they can use a class just to be different so let's go ahead and make a class real quick and to just to make a class all you have to do is use the full stop or period symbol just to tell CSS that this is now a class and then what you do is you just put in your class name so I'm gonna name my class red underscore text and you can actually name it anything you want but it's best to name your class something descriptive so that you know what your class is actually doing on your web page just by looking at the name and then we can go ahead and over here just set the color color not Zala color to red and uh, now what we can do is we can actually make another class and we can call this class blue text blue text over there and we can set the color equal to blue and uh, the reason why these class names just display in red is just so that it, um, notepad is just helping you out just to say look this is a class you can see that it's a class just by seeing that the text is actually red so let's just go ahead and uh, save this and now what we have to do is actually try and use these classes on our website so let's go back to our headers over here and let's actually change them up because to have two two headers that say uh, the same thing is just a little bit boring so let's just go here and be like uh, this will be red not Ted red and then we can go ahead and change this one to be I wish I was blue and that one can just have a full stop so let, now we can go ahead and save this and if you view this in um, Firefox just yet you're gonna see it's gonna be two normal header twos nothing's actually changed just yet but now what we can do is inside our starting tag of our h2 element we just add an attribute called class and we can set this equal to the name of our class so as you can see the name of our class over here was red text so let's just go ahead and copy that and then we can paste that in over here make sure that it's right red text for red and then we can go ahead and copy the blue text name over here Oops. and we can set this one also equal to class equals and that can be blue text and now when you go ahead and refresh this in Firefox we're gonna land up having this header as red and this header as blue check us out awesome so now we have a red header and a blue header so that's how you would use classes to style elements on your web page so now you'll be able to have multiple elements on your web page that can all look different if that is your desire so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment like or share my videos it's really gonna help my channel grow so thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time